Hi, I'm Les Kruger, President of the Saskatchewan Bison Association. As a producer, I'm always concerned about the health and well-being of my animals. As President of the Saskatchewan Bison Association, I'm committed to the growth and development of the bison industry in Saskatchewan. Recently, a number of rural municipal councils have been approached regarding zoning bylaws. These bylaws are intended to place buffer zones in between sheep and bison to reduce the risk and the exposure of the MCF virus. Because of the lack of clear fact-based understanding of the MCF virus, the Saskatchewan Bison Association and the Sheep Development Board have asked Dr. Chris Clark from the University of Saskatchewan to give us a better understanding of MCF. So my name is uh, Chris Clark. I'm a veterinarian and I'm a associate professor at the Western College of Veterinary Medicine in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Malignant catarrhal fever is a virus and it's a virus that is actually predominantly a virus of sheep. It, uh, it's spread through the respiratory tract and in sheep barely causes a noticeable disease. What we know about the disease is that, it, or the virus, is that it's spread from the mothers to the lambs. Um, in particular, there seems to be a, an age-related thing, so that lambs of about six to eight months of age are the ones that are really spreading it from one to another. So it's that age of lamb that is a particular risk. Um, the virus is spread through mainly the respiratory secretions. Other lambs get it. Um, they don't show any signs. They, they develop an immunity and the virus essentially disappears. These lambs remain infected for life. And later on in their lives, if they get stressed, they can be reactivated, they can spread the virus at low levels, and so it spreads through the sheep population. So one of the strange things about malignant catarrhal fever is that in sheep it doesn't really cause any disease, but if it gets into other ruminants under certain circumstances, it can cause a really nasty disease that is universally fatal. Bison are very susceptible to malignant catarrhal fever. Um, they, the estimates suggest that they're potentially 1,000 times more susceptible to the virus than cattle. Bison, although they get the disease, they don't actually excrete the virus. So the virus doesn't spread from one bison to another. It has to come from a sheep. Although most sheep have been exposed to the virus, we recognize that the greatest risk comes from weaned animals about six months of age. And it comes from stressed weaned animals. And so when you think about that, it means that the greatest risk for producing the virus is a lamb feedlot. Because you've got animals of the right age, they're stressed, and they're very, very, very likely to be excreting a lot of the virus. The risk to bison changes as well. We know from some of the work that's been done that there are bison out there that have antibodies to malignant catarrhal fever. That means they got exposed to the virus, they mounted an immune response, they never got sick, and they, they, they were fine. So it seems that stress in bison is another issue here. Um, when animals are stressed, whether it be environmental stress, nutritional stress, that potentially lowers their immune system and makes them more susceptible to getting the virus. So when we talk about the risk of MCF from sheep to bison, it's not an absolute. There are lots and lots of people in this province who farm sheep and bison in close proximity and have never had an issue. We also know from some of the data we can get from the vet school here that MCF has been a relatively rare disease in Saskatchewan over the last 14 or so years. There was one outbreak associated with the auction market here in Saskatoon, but other than that, the disease has been rare and typically we see maybe three or four cases in bison a year. So what can you do to try to minimize the risk? Well, really what the situation here is that bison producers and the sheep producers need to work together. Most sheep flocks will be lambing in the spring. They'll have the lambs with the mothers over the summer. And as you head into late summer, early fall, those lambs will typically be weaned and shipped off to the feedlot. So the risk from the typical sheep farm is quite small because you don't have those young animals excreting a lot of virus. The only real risk would be a sheep feedlot in pro close proximity to your bison. Bison producers need to manage their animals in such a way that we manage them in a low stress situation. This is good for the bison anyway. So we want to avoid 
uh, mixing groups repeatedly, causing stress that way. We need to make sure that our bison are on a good nutritional program. They're not getting too skinny over the winter. They're not, at, uh, they're not stressed by the weather and hopefully that will minimize the risk. One of the realities of farming is that you'll often have livestock in close proximity to your own livestock. They may be of the same species, they may be of a different species. The reality is that diseases spread between populations of animals. BVD can spread between cattle herds, uh, salmonella could be spread between herds of animals. Malignant catarrhal fever is just another disease that has the potential to spread between farms. And when you look at it in that context, it's important that people don't hit the panic button. People need to talk to their neighbors, and if they've got questions, they need to either talk to the Ministry of Agriculture here in Saskatchewan, or contact us at the vet school for further advice. Hi, I'm Trent Larson with the Saskatchewan Sheep Development Board. The sheep industry views MCF very seriously. We recognize that it is not a disease that affects sheep, but we have a responsibility to minimize the risk for bison producers. The Saskatchewan Sheep Development Board and the Saskatchewan Bison Association are working closely together to help minimize the risks. Education is a key component to help managing the risks. Producers, RMs, counselors and industry need to better educate themselves to manage this disease. Producers need to communicate openly and honestly for both industries to be viable and profitable. We have a responsibility to do what we can to minimize the risk for bison producers in the Bison Association. As bison producers, we can all do our share in helping to minimize the risk of MCF to our animals. Become familiar with MCF. Learn all you can and, and be comfortable in knowing what the risks are and where the risks lie. Don't share common fences between sheep and bison. Don't use common watering sources. And one of the most important things is work with your neighbor. If, you're, if your neighbor is a sheep farmer and is planning a, an expansion, or if you're planning an expansion on your bison herd, go and discuss it with your neighbor. Tell them what your future plans are. On behalf of the Saskatchewan Bison Association, I'm Les Kruger.